Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting science lesson. My name is Mrs. Barnaby and I am so happy to share with you today. What do you think our lesson will be about today? I'll give you a hint. What are animals that do not have a backbone? If your answer was invertebrates, you are absolutely correct and we are off to a great start. Today, we are going to learn about a special kind of invertebrate, an invertebrate called sponges. But before we begin, let's look at the objectives for the lesson. After watching this video and participating in an activity, you will be able to state three main characteristics of sponges, define key vocabulary terms, and finally, explain why sponges are called filter feeders. Let's take a look at the vocabulary words for this lesson. Pores. Pores are tiny holes covering the sponge's body. Filter feeders. Filter feeders filter tiny particles of food from the water. Regenerate. Regenerate means to regrow body parts that are lost. And asexual. Asexual means to make a copy of itself. What comes to your mind when you think about sponges? Is it the synthetic or man-made sponges that you use for washing dishes? Or is it this funny animated character SpongeBob SquarePants. Look at these beautiful sponges. They may look like plants, but in fact, sponges are animals. A sponge is a marine invertebrate that usually remains anchored to reefs in oceans all across our planet all their lives. A sponge is a simple multicellular invertebrate. They are made up of only two layers of cells. They do not have any internal organs. This means that a sponge does not have a brain or any nervous system. So here's a question for you. If sponges do not move from place to place, how do they get food? Well, sponges are filter feeders. What does this mean? I'll explain it to you. Let's look closely at this sponge. Do you notice the tiny holes? Tiny holes covering a sponge's body are called pores. Ocean water enters the sponge's body through these pores. The pores lead to canals. The canals are made up of specialized thread-like whip structures. These structures whip rapidly as the water passes through the sponge's body. This whip-like motion allows the water to pass through the sponge's body. As the water moves through the sponge's body, the sponge then filters microscopic food particles such as bacteria, algae, protists, and other materials like plankton. Yes, plankton from the water. Oxygen is also removed from the water at this time. Once the sponge gets everything it needs, then waste and other materials leaves the sponge body through an opening called a vent. Like all living things, sponges must reproduce. How do sponges reproduce? Sponges can reproduce asexually by budding. This happens when buds break off and grow into a new sponge. Sexually, most sponges are both male and female. In sexual reproduction, they may play either role. And sponges can regenerate. Regenerate is our vocabulary word. 
This means the ability to regrow body parts that are lost. This says a lot about our sponge population. There are many species of sponges living in oceans all across our planet. Needle-like parts give them their shape. Different species of sponges come in different colors, shapes, or sizes. Here are some examples of sponges, a vase sponge, tube sponge, and yellow sponge. You may find this invertebrate sponges in reefs in the Bahamas. Long ago, there were so many sponges in the Bahamas that we had a sponging industry. Bahamian fishermen harvested sponges from the ocean floor. The sponges were gathered and sold to foreign countries. Today, people use sponges for so many different things. Sponges can be used for decorating, they can be used for bathing, and finally, they can also be used for cleaning. And now, let's take a look back over our lesson. What have you learned about sponges today? Remember these simple things about a natural sponge. Sponges are marine invertebrates. They are filter feeders. They come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Sponges can reproduce asexually and sexually. They can regenerate. Sponges have a variety of uses. Some can be used for decorating, some can be used for cleaning, and some can be used for bathing. Sponging was once a profitable business in the Bahamas. Great job everyone! I do hope you know more about sponges. See you next time!